Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. So we left off last episode in the outskirts of Novigrad where we played some Gwent against the Scarlet Hill Merchant and as it turns out Geralt did meet him before but not in any other game so it's no surprise that I didn't uh, remember him because he didn't actually appear in, in the game. Um, anyway, after that I have returned to Novigrad. I'm in the Rosemary and Time now because I wanted to put some stuff into storage, uh, specifically my Griffin armor set. Um, I do have a better armor now, but I may want to enhance it in the future, right? So I'm going to need uh, the armor. And yeah, apparently this place has improved. It's uh, cleaned up and there are even a few guests and a drunk as well. And apparently we have a cook, not sure if he has anything to say, but let's uh, talk to him. Hello, fella. Well, met. well, apparently not, but um, I'm not sure if Zoltan uh, has uh, changed this place, but apparently we have some business now. And yeah, we still have our mysterious old friend over here. <laughs> I kind of like how they animated the old though, it, it's um, pretty realistic, it really looks like an old. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, uh, I think today I actually want to continue with our search for Dandelion and I notice that it's getting dark so I may actually want to uh, meditate so that we can start fresh on a new day. So, um, like I mentioned last episode, I think I am going to ignore Cleaver's offer because I was specifically warned by Dijkstra not to do it with Cleaver but to do it on my own. So uh, instead of going to talk to him, I will just um, follow the quest as it is in my main quest journal. So I'm supposed to go to Junus Arena, his casino, his hideout and I can pretend to be Zdenek because I found the certificate. So uh, let me have a look at the map. I'm not sure if there's a specific order in which I should do them. Um, but the casino is a little bit closer. So let's start with the casino and we'll see um, what happens. Once we get there. What village are you from? Willows. Since There's a lot of dead people inside here. Of God arrived here just oh, I think I may actually be responsible for this. Yeah, I killed these guys. <laughs> but apparently I didn't shoot them after killing them. Alright, um, well, no I did. Alright, this seems to be well, the place we need to go. Place for the likes of you. So, let's talk to the bouncers with their fancy masks. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. Mm hmm. Well, let's see if the Axie works on you. I think you're about to let me in. By all means. Please. And you wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. Don't don't push your luck, Geralt. It's enough if they let you in. Okay, so I can go inside now. Uh-huh. Play really cards with a casino You'll guest. Your coin left. I don't wish to try so right. Who's that? I'm here each day and I've not seen him. One in charge here, probably the innkeeper. Oh, it's a dealer, okay. May I? Why not? Um, yeah, I'm looking for high-stake games. Hankering to play, but I'm only interested in high stakes. I don't know you. Perhaps you have coin, perhaps not. Perhaps you can behave, perhaps you cannot. Stay out of trouble, you'll eventually play for high stakes. For now, plenty of tables for commoners upstairs. Don't lose it all too quickly. Hm. Okay, well, I guess that's what I start with. Um... Sir, I beg your pardon. I'm guessing these people are not 
interest to me. Ah, probably not. Another word out ah. here, I'll take you upstairs. No! Why don't Watch you all grade. just get off my back? So, uh, yeah, let's just go upstairs and play some Gwent. Okay, apparently I have to play three people. Okay, let's start with this guy. Cards lining up today. A mutant? What the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead or other shitsheads around here? Hmm. Why do you care? Nope, no monsters. Great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we'll play, provided you've coin. I do. This tech. They've got the best powder in the city right here. Just want to play. Yeah, let's play. And, oh yeah, they have some higher stakes here. If you insist. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse. <laughs> okay. And, right, I want to take Siri into my deck. Um, yeah, I guess Vesemir has to go for that. The student will replace the teacher. So, let's go. Okay, he's playing Middle Guardian. Decoy, Commander's Horns, and assorted stuff. Uh, can I get a Crinfeed Reaver, please? No, but a Spy is also nice. Alright, let's do this. Um, apparently I'm going to start. Okay, let's start with a spy. Oh, look at all those commander's horns. I can't even use all of them. And of course he's going to take my spy. Um, yeah. Well, he has a spy as well, but... I can... grab that one. And oh, he's passing already. <laughs> well, um, I can still play this one and still win the round. There we go. Okay, okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Um, I have a bunch of <laughs> commander horns, but not that many chance to use them. All right, let's. Let's see what we can do here. Luckily, I only have to win one more round, so... This shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh-huh. This might be good opportunity for a Scorch card, but I can wait a while until I play it. Hm. Well, I guess I may as well play it now. I have two of them, so... No problem. Ah! Okay, okay. But it's not such a huge loss. Letho. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's play the Scorch card now before I use my commander's horns. And I suppose now I will use mine. Yeah, the, the remaining cards are all kind of pointless. But I want to play them anyway to see what other cards he has. I mean, I may need to play Faultus to clear up weather or whatever. But until then, we will just continue to play them. Uh, 
Well, that was very close, but it's enough, <laughs> so um, long to pass. There we go. Okay, uh, first uh, game one. I'll not play you anymore. Your bad luck. Go ruin <laughs> someone else. Okay. Look on the bright side. Unlucky at cards, lucky in love. <laughs> I'm not sure this guy will have luck and love. And I didn't you even get a card for this. It kind of face. sucks. Anyway, let's go on and play You're the next familiar. person. I, have a I yet. suppose you are one of them over here. Who was it? No, it's not him. Hmm. I think it's him. Yeah. You been getting? May I join you? I've never seen you here before. <laughs> Haven't seen you here either. That's true. Never seen you here either. You've clearly no notion who I am. Don't be clever with me. We don't like clever men around <laughs> here. How did you even learn this place? Um, well, do, does it matter? They let me in. Men at the door let me in. Not good enough? No. Preferable if someone vouched for you. Soon. Until then, I'll have my eye on you. Come on, I just want to play some cards. Don't be difficult. We done talking? I'd like to play. Alright, take a seat. Okay, let's go. Okay... That's a lot of siege equipment again. I have lots of those. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's start with a spy. And another spy for you. <laughs> um, I could eliminate all of those with my two Scorch cards, <laughs> or I could pass around and save my Scorch for the next round. And currently, I'm more inclined to do the latter. I mean, he already played a lot of his cards. He only has 7, I have 12. Yeah, let's just pass this. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, at least... Um, a possible target for my scorch card. Um, I don't really care about the fog. Oh well, this is an even better target for my scorch card. Oh, look at that. Goodbye crowns! Again, I may remove this later with my Scorch card. For now, let's just keep rolling out some siege equipment. Okay, he is passing. Um, so I could either use another one of those. I feel I should use a commander horn, or else I will never have a chance to use all of them. So let's use this now, and this is enough to win. <coughs> and now I just need to win the final round, and I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's start with this guy. Drog. Um... I wonder what cards he has left. I wonder if I should use my Scorch card now or if he has something higher. 
Because if I now play... Well, I can play Yennefer, she's not going to be affected by Scorch, so... This would work out, but oh well, one of those would be affected by Scorch. Oh well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, let me just remove that card and not worry about it anymore. Okay, and now we can play the rest of the siege equipment. Clear weather isn't going to help you. So yeah, I don't even need to play the remaining cards. There we go. And we won this as well. I win. <laughs> don't you think I know that? Want a rematch? <laughs> what whip? You've left me high and dry. I'll not bet half a crown more. Okay. Okay. Getting good hands. Luck of the draw today. You might make better use of that luck then. We've a room for specially selected upstairs. Really big stakes there. Okay, okay. Um, sounds interesting. If that's the case, I accept the invitation. Come with me. Private room for the chosen few. No one will disturb you here. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Doesn't look too cozy. Not a comfortable place to play cards. Someone less trusting might take it for an interrogation room. Junior doesn't believe in miracles. This is where cheats learn just how much he dislikes being robbed. Work him over. Once you're done, wrap a nice thick chain <laughs> around his legs and drop him in the pontar. Well, and you sour losers. Okay, so apparently, um, fight these guys now. Well, they picked the wrong fight here. Also, who's that guy sitting in the, in the background of this? There's so much sitting there, right? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to take a look at him in a moment. List of debtors. Alabert, Zimmer, Gwyn, Hoy, Lettuce, Biller, Sigamore, Prokop, Rico with an exclamation mark. Mortimer, Schwindel, Stun degrees artwork fun de Baltimore. <laughs> okay, um so uh who are you my friend? Oh this is Rico. You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Shit, those cocksuckers got me good. Bones are intact. Will you free me? Um how about we have a chat first? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. <laughs> so what have you kinda learned? <laughs> Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Okay, um... Then maybe you should get away. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Hmm. Guess we can ask him and find out. Because if he doesn't know, then he will appreciate that information. Okay, so um, I think we finished this part of the quest. Let's loot this place before we leave again. All right.
Alright, um, I think we're done here. Well, not quite. Also a nice sword, I think. But probably not better than what I have. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> I hope this isn't your blood, my friend. Are you are you okay? Will you make it? <laughs> anyway, let me have a look at the quest. So, um Yeah, we have finished this part, so I can now tell Dijkstra about it. But I think we can probably just visit the arena first, right? And where's the hideout? Okay, the hideout is over here. Yeah, let's go and uh, visit the arena next. <coughs> well, I kind of expected this to happen. I was a bit surprised that they were just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> Alright. This guy is almost dead, so let's take care of him next. And we have more people coming. Maybe I should have found a better way out, but I'm not sure if there was one to begin with, so... Oh well. They probably just deserved it anyway. Um, there is still one guy, but I think he's downstairs, so... What? Lost your nerve? Let me just pick up the loot. Oh, now he noticed me. Okay, let's take care of the bouncer. There we go. And done. Okay. <laughs> so much for these guys. Ooh. Income and outlays. Gaming salon number one. Count Tubald, Sasha, Phineas, Bernard Tull, Patrick Hazelnut. I don't think I know any of those names, so... I'll just keep this in mind. Okay, uh, let me pick up the loot upstairs and after that I will uh, continue towards the arena. Alright, I think I'm approaching the arena, so <laughs> let's see if we can do it without killing everyone this time. Because, I mean, the whole point of not doing it with Cleaver was to be a little bit more subtle and it kind of failed uh, in the card game quest. You heard. They raided Cleaver's ass. They kill him. That'd be daft. Cleaver weren't born yesterday. War's on. Bugger kips down somewhere new every night. <laughs> yeah, um, I kind of didn't want this. Whoa, you just spawned right in front of me. But yeah, let's see if we can be more subtle this time. Fascinating the way your eyes react. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Um Well yeah, I found those certificates, so I don't know, let's try to use them. Recognize this piece of paper? Uh fight contract. <laughs> Good, you can read. So who's this contract made out to? Says, uh, Stenic. My dad is Stenic. Mm hmm. I'm Stenic. Any more questions? <sighs> okay. In you go. Don't you go wandering. Straight to Eagle now. Of course, Fair I don't enough. look anything like Stenic, but, um, they probably wouldn't know anyway. So, let's see what's going on down here. Come on, get ready. Your turn now. Okay. Uh, losers get paid anything. <laughs> losers get carted off to the cemetery. What are you doing there? You'd be so pale if you ate onions and oil. 
very interesting. This is a huge underground place. Look at that. Remember and it's deal. full of bandits and fistic addicts and people tossing. fighting with swords against dummies. Okay, um, this is interesting. Gives a whole new meaning to the world. Criminal underground, huh? Oh, who are you? There's your coin. That's it. All right. We Igor, okay. Take it while I'm being grabbed proper. Still not safe at night. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Hmm. Well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be too straightforward about trying to see Horson Jr. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's got to keep the peace. Mm. Claim any kind of experience? I've done my share of fighting. Done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Why not <laughs> come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you manage in a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Okay. Uh, it's a deal. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? So, are these like sword fights or fist fights? Probably fist fights if I claim to be Zdenek, right? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water! A witcher! <laughs> a murderous mutant! His opponent, Gustav Rohn! A man who cut his way out of his mother's womb <laughs> okay. with a knife! As ever, a fight to the death! So apparently I'm fighting with my swords after all. Well, I actually prefer that way. Kids, free. You kill. need the risks. Three children. I will not kill him. We Release the hounds. Well, I can kill some dogs as well. The Witcher wins. Next fight. Born brawlers in battle. A fracas, a rumpus, a fray. The Witcher versus the Hairy Brothers, straight from the Wild Isles. Okay. Um. Sired by a mountain bear, they live to kill. Well, it's interesting. Gustav is actually helping me now. The Witcher and Gustav Rowan defeat their opponents. Next fight! The Witcher doing what he does best! Face to face with That beasts. guy is really into it. Oh, I see. What is this? A wyvern, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I can handle a level 11 wyvern. There we go. Easy as pie. What now? Oh, well, um, apparently they still want no core, okay. Give them an encore. Ah, yeah, you did that to me. This is my line of work. Shall I 
I release Boris? Boris! 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 Especially for you, for the first time in a long time! Release Boris! Boris. What? Is, is it a bear? It's totally a bear. Okay, um... Well... And here with the bear, right? I kind of feel sorry for the bear. So much unnecessary cruelty. Get another win for the Witcher! Bravo! Plowing scragged and furrow. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Huh. So, and who might you be? Are you the legendary Horson? Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well. We've not had enough. Now. Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Muster the men and get out those magics. And would someone please <laughs> kill the blasted witcher? So apparently Cleaver started a war anyway. Perfect. Oh well. Um... I guess we'll have to deal with this later. Let's take care of all those henchmen first. Okay, that guy is dead. And so are you. Should search this hole. Oh, did they kill the guy after all? My my ally? Ah, they may have killed him. That sucks. <laughs> but what can you do? What can you do? Let's take all of this. There's some loot over here. Um yeah, this place is pretty big though. Is there anything else that I want to have a look at? Okay, I can't go through here. These are just places where they keep their beasts. Presumably. Alright. And... Nope, this is... no way either. Okay, uh, let's head back and still need to get to Hawthorne's hideout. Floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind uh -huh. this wall. Can I destroy it maybe? No, I can't. Oh, but there is something over here. Ah! Aha, uh -huh. very crafty. Ooh, a secret loot stash. I hope this has some good stuff. Thought. Mysterious letter. Let's read it. To Horson Jr., King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so called Big Four. Yet not only do they still live, but they also know how know of your role in the attempted assassination that was not our arrangement for the time being hide in the place which the messenger delivering his missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight his majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the big four will finish the job which you attempted yet flopped so badly m hmm okay Interesting. Well, the loot is rather underwhelming, but the letter might be important. 
Okay, um... I may want to go and talk to Dijkstra before I continue to the hideout. Um, this is just... Nope, this is not a way I can go. Well, apparently pretty much everyone left. Ah, so few people are still here. Oh, I see. These are the uh, hench dwarves. Um... Well, I suppose I'm going to join. Kill a few of these. Of course, again, my plan of doing this in a subtle way totally failed. <laughs> but <laughs> just this is just the way things turn out, right? Ooh, message from Igor. Since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the valuables and a bit of blood's been split for no plowing reason whatsoever, I'd like to reassure you, all the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind asshole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk on the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena. Turn your back to the grating and look to the wall opposite you. If, you're, if you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Let me emphasize what horse and Junus crowns have not been touched. That horse and Junus crowns have not been touched, not a single copper's missing. I swear on my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. Ah! Another stash of money? Or is this the one that I just looted anyway? <laughs> okay, I picked up all of this. Sure, and you can and yeah, I will definitely have a good look around this place to see if there's any more loot. Let me have a look at the notice again. Walk down the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena. Turn your back so there's the back to the grating and look to the wall opposite you. If you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Yeah, this may actually be the hidden room that I just found, but I think I should make sure that there's no um, other stuff for me to find. Uh, do you need any help with this? Apparently not. Oh no, they suddenly turn hostile. <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> Alright, let's grab off Grab all of this stuff too. So, um, it says I should walk down to the lower level. Um, yeah, I'm guessing they they were talking about this place, right? And I picked up the money. There was some money in here too, so I think this should be the place they were talking about. Okay, um, yeah, so we finished two parts of this quest. We still need to go to the hideout. And I think we should probably tell Dijkstra about what we found out. Um, I guess this may not take too long, so why not do this first and then end the episode and we will finish this quest in the next episode. I will spend a few more minutes down here uh, looking around, just making sure that I haven't missed anything. And then I will head over and uh, talk to Dijkstra about this.
All right, we're back at the bathhouse. So let's see if uh, Dijkstra is happy about the information that we bring him, or if he's pissed about the fact that Cleaver kind of made a mess of things after all. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Um. So yeah, Junior's working with the Redanians. Did you know? Wiley, Horson Junior. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Hmm. <laughs> I think I got it from a reliable source. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't. But you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed oh. up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Okay. Talk to Vernon Roach in the partisan camp. Ah, okay. So this is another part of the quest. Um... Right, I already saw that he is somewhere over here. And, yeah, I mean, I do have to play some Gwent against him anyway. Okay, so we have two more things to do in the next episode. Um, I don't know if I want to go to this hideout first or talk to Roach first. It may actually be adv advantageous to talk to him first. Maybe he has some information that will help me before we um, storm the hideout. But um, I think this is something for another day. So yeah, let's make a cut here and we'll continue this tomorrow. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.